guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we got a fun one. We're going to take a look at a sex type thing by the Stone Temple Pilots. So this has just a few different riffs in it. And um, they're all not eh, kind of stretchy at points, but they're uh, not very difficult to play. And they're uh, nice and repetitive and it really rocks. So it's a lot of fun to play. All right, so let's take a look at... Now there is some guitar layering going on, but we're just doing the, the, you know, the main part like... Um, uh, they would play live, okay, with just one guitar. So uh, let's let's start here with this main riff. All right, so that really involves you um, keeping your pinky here at the seventh fret on the A string. Now we're in standard tuning here, so we're just gonna have this first the low E open, and then you're gonna play the seventh fret on the low E and the that pinky once again on the seventh fret on the A string together. Then the low E open again. Then the sixth fret there on the low E string while keeping your pinky on the seventh of the A string. Open low E again. Now the fifth fret on the low E with that same note. This this note's gonna stay consistent. Low E again. So hit this. And then now you stretch down and grab the third fret on the on the low E. Look at this. From there we're gonna do this. So we have we're basically still holding the seven. Three, five, three, seven. I mean zero, sorry. So we have this. All right, now from there we go to the verse, which sounds like this. All right, so that is based around just this F sharp power chord. So, which you're, you're grabbing that power chord at the second fret on the low E, so that's it, right there, and then. Fourth fret on the A and the D together. And what he's doing is he's lifting up the first stringer to the open string and just go. Just up and down. So you're always hitting all those strings, three strings, but you're open E and sometimes the second fret. Then he'll kill it and just, just uh, basically do the dead string thing there. Kind of a little chunk effect. Here, this. See that I'm doing that? Kind of have to do that little phrase with the chord. I'm really heavily muting the strings and just strumming across them. Now, um, randomly, he'll play some harmonics on the string. So what he's, how he accomplishes that, he's got a lot of gain on his guitar, a lot of distortion, which helps us. And he, just lightly touch your first uh, finger there and drag it down. Just barely touching the low E string. So you can still have the chord shape in your hand. And kind of work your way back. You don't have to go a long distance. It's just a, like one fret up. All right, from there we go to the chorus, which sounds like this. Back to that man riff. So easy here, this is probably the easiest part of the song. We have the power chord of the second fret off the A string. It's the B power chord. The second fret on the A, fourth fret on the D and the G. Then the open A power chord, which is the open A string, with the second fret on the D and the G held together. Like this. 
Now you're gonna go to a D power chord, which is gonna, basically you're not gonna hit that high E string. You can play the third fret on the B string, second fret on the G string, and you're gonna have the open D, and he adds the open A string with it too. So there's four middle strings there. Then we're back to the open A, the, the power chord there. Then we come back to the first chord and start over, so we have this. Just kind of repeats. Then you can slide down there the strings back to the main riff. Now, the second time he does the chorus, we have this little uh, uh, kind of dissonant musical moment there that connects us back uh, to the verse. Um, and it happens later on in the song as well, too. Now, that thing sounds like this. At the end of that, that takes us back, end of the song, that takes us back to the main riff. So uh, it does happen a couple times in a song. So what we're doing here is we're going to be playing uh, a dominant seven chord shape. In this case, an E dominant seven chord shape to begin with. So that's the seventh fret on the A string, sixth fret on the D, seventh on the G, and fifth on the B. Let the two outside strings, the two E's, ring open. That a few times. Now I just take that same chord shape and move it up two frets. Still have the open E strings though. Then move it up two more frets. Now we're going to move it up to the 11th fret, but we're going to change it a little bit. We're going to do a bar at the 11th fret. So, and you're going to have the 13th fret on, so the, it's the 11th fret on the A string there, 13th on the D. 13th on the G, and the 11th there on the B. Just hit those four middle strings. And then we're gonna go back to the dominant shape, which is now gonna be starting with your first finger here at the 11th fret there. And you're gonna play this. So we're just going the chord and the low E string twice. So all together we have this. So you can see that low E is ringing the entire time. All right, so like I said before, it goes back to the verse there, back to the chorus and stuff. Um, when it goes back to that dissonant part there, at the end of the song, it takes us back to the main riff again. To end the song, it has a slightly different ending. So we're just doing the basic, the same riff we did before. But at the very end, when the song, right when the song ends, you're gonna come back here and grab this. So it's just a tritone, so it's a low E open. Then the first fret on the A string, and the second fret on the D string. So we have this. Play that real quick and just kill it. Just those three strings. And that's what ends the song. So it's a really fun one to play. So hopefully you'll find a band to jam it with. And it's uh, it gets people moving. All right. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again soon for GuitarLessons365.com.